our uh, new topic is uh, is about PID in uh, split range in Centum VP. Uh, it's not um, a complete tutorial how to implement the split range, but um, we, I received this um, comment in the comment section. Uh, on a um, topic related to Centum VP about uh, how to um, uh, how to learn about different terminals uh, used in a regulatory block and uh, I decided to um, uh, demonstrate the, this uh, question the answer to this question in this um, topic and this video uh, Mm, we, uh, we are uh, developing some training courses uh, related to Centum VP. It's a very complex and very detailed uh, premium uh, course uh, that will be available in our website. And uh, one of the examples in that course will be a split range. I only want to give some overview uh, to provide the answer to this question. Uh, this is the um, split range. In this example, I try to implement this structure, control structure, and I try to simulate that with the uh, Yukugo Centum VP. Uh, we have um, uh, a liquid with a certain uh, temperature. Uh, the liquid temperature um, can be Mm, somehow around uh, 50 or any value mm, it's related to the ambient temperature uh, if the ambient temperature is 50 or uh, it's related to the tank or process that uh, this liquid is the output of the, the, the tank or that process so uh, we have the liquid with the constant temperature and uh, we have a cooling system, cooling water, a control valve, and exchanger here. Uh, uh, what cooling water in exchanger will make this um, liquid cooler? At the same time, we have a steam and uh, exchanger here, another exchanger here to increase the temperature of this liquid. Uh, we have uh, this PID controller here, uh, this PID controller here uh, is deciding based on the process value here and uh, uh, sorry, temperature control, this is the PID controller here, the PID controller will, will be provide the output, this is the con uh, control output. Uh, based on the set point and the uh, process value, this is the process value, uh, the actual temperature of the uh, outlet, and this is the PID controller, and the output uh, is the output is fed into uh, two uh, two elements, uh, two control valves uh, to regulate the uh, temperature and uh, output of the PID is fed to the split block, a split range block in Yukugawa and other uh, DCS platforms or even in uh, other PLC programs. It's possible to implement this structure by using a simple uh, split range. If you know the structure of a split range, you can implement the uh, uh, program by yourself. So uh, the mm, basic uh, structure or or process description of uh, of this example is finished. Now uh, the next step we will go to the uh, Centum VP environment. Uh, in this environment, uh, in drawings, uh, I developed a very simple program the uh, PID controller and uh, this is the split uh, split range or a split block 
and uh, for split we have uh, heating and cooling output these are uh, representation of uh, each of these actuator uh, heater is for the control valve that controlling the steam and cooler is the output for the this uh, control valve and the rest uh, is uh, some simulating block and uh, uh, we will simulate the the whole uh, process in Sentinel VP uh, about the question in order to find out the whole uh, input outputs and uh, parameters of this uh, split block uh, my uh, reference is the uh, uh, Centum VP uh, function block it's uh, function blocks it's not very difficult to search and uh, I search for a split and this is the split function block and it's possible to read the whole information about this uh, block, inputs, outputs, and anything you need to know. Uh, for uh, testing the for testing the block, I need to go into online mode. Uh, need to change the split block to cascade uh, when the uh, split uh, block is changed from automatic to cascade the PID will be uh, normal uh, I will change it again to uh, automatic let's see what's happening here when uh, the SP block is not in cascade mode the uh, PID control is in IMAN uh, mode and uh, uh, we need to change that to the cascade so then it's cascade and uh, it's possible now to operate the PID controller we can put the PID controller into, um, into automatic and change the the probe. Uh, as a starting point, I change the set value to 100 and uh, let's see what will happen. We have uh, 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 changing in the uh, in the output while the output is increasing, the cooling side is decreasing and uh, after a while uh, we will have some increasing in the steam and you can see that the temperature is increasing uh, let me change it to 90 uh, it's also possible for me to um, to call the uh, the trend that I um, prepare for uh, this application here so we are uh, we increased it um, we increased the set value and you can see that the stream steam is uh, fed to the exchanger to increase the uh, temperature you have the option uh, option of monitoring uh, the set value the process value the heating uh, action on heating valve and action on cooling valve so if uh, we reach to the uh, steady state in the uh, temperature I will decrease the uh, temperature and uh, you can see the result uh, it's also possible for me to uh, change the uh, tuning parameters related to the PID controller for a quick response I change the P I change it to 40 for a bit quicker response 
and now we can see that uh, somehow we reached the set value and I decrease the uh, set value to 40. In this uh, manner, the steam valve will be closing. As you can see, the steam valve is closing and after, uh, after a while, uh, when the steam portion of the control uh, is eliminated, we will have some uh, action on the cooling side for, for a quick response. Action on steam is uh, getting close to zero and from now on the cooling side is uh, helping uh, the process to reach to the, uh, the set value that uh, we requested. This is the cooling side. We can uh, decrease the set value to 20 to see the uh, more portion on the cooling side. And in the online view, it's also possible to monitor the values in the online view you can see that you can see that uh, uh, we, we are reaching to the 20 and only the cooling uh, side is is dominant here uh, it's a very simple uh, simulated um, uh, split range uh, program and uh, the most important parameters that you need to I will uh, eventually tell you more about the configuration of the split block and um, you can try it by yourself uh, we are getting closer to the set value and you can see that only the cooling valve, the cooling water is uh, is used, and it's uh, the cooling water is only available. Uh, I will increase the temperature set value to ninety five, and uh, we can simply guess what will happen. The cooling water will close dramatically, and after a while, the steam will be lined up. The steam portion is working here the steam valve is operating and uh, our task is done here the function the function test is uh, finished I just want to show you the parameters that uh, you need to work on for uh, your your function test this is the parameters that I uh, configured this program and you can change these uh, settings uh, based on the data available in the manual. Uh, read them carefully and apply them to uh, to your uh, project. Let me check the trend and you can see that the cooling water is finished. Cooling water uh, closed uh, here. You can see that the cooling is 24 here. And uh, after changing the set value, uh, cooling uh, closed uh, gradually from 24 15 and it's getting close to zero and after a while the steam uh, the steam valves opened and you can see that we are reaching to the set value it's a very simple um, a split range simulated uh, program i simulated this um, uh, process by using uh, Sybil high-level um, high programming language in uh, Yukikawa Sentinel VP and all the required information is available here. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you find something helpful here.